What's going on guys? So we're heading downtown to do a roadside call and I don't do roadside calls anymore. But this is a VIP customer. She's been one of my customers for the longest and she got stuck downtown yesterday. So I ordered the part, got the part in the truck. We're gonna head downtown, swap that out real quick and get her back on the road. So I'll take you guys along with me. On my side, uh, yeah. Alright guys, the first step is to remove the air box. Make sure you don't forget the small vacuum hose on the driver's side that connects to the air box. Undo the torch bits, loosen the clamps, and you should be good to go. Next step is to take off the radiator support. After you move, remove the bolts, remove the oil cooler, then it grants you access to the fan. So once you got the fan pulled out, you just repeat the process in reverse by placing the fan back down. Make sure you connect the wire connector and put the oil cooler back down, bolt everything back in, then connect the radiator support with the torch bits. And last but not least, place that air box back on. And once again, don't forget the vacuum line that connects to it. Tighten it down with the torque spit. Tighten the hose clamps down and make sure the mass air sensor is plugged up. And that is it guys. Sounds good and the fan is on. Probably can't really see her down there, but everything good. It's probably took 15, 12 to 15 minutes. Now we're about to hit the road. All right, guys, as you can see, I am done heading back to the shop. That literally took probably between, like I said, 12 to 15 minutes. I already called the customer. She's going to pick up with her second key. And I've already been paid before I made it to the shop. So that was a quick, luckily it wasn't too far from the shop. It was probably about 15 minutes away from the shop, downtown Atlanta. That's it. Just wanted to share that with you guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.